This is what Leonard and Phyllis Bear's barn looked like before the fire. And this is what's left. Months after the Klamath on fire swept through Hornbrook, devastating communities, many people are still feeling the effects today. One couple tells me they're not sure how they'll feed their cattle this winter because they lost almost all of their hay in that fire. However, they're finding new hope in an Ashland woman who refuses to stand by without helping. You had no idea which way it was going that morning. The bears are looking back on a day that changed their life and their livelihood. July 5th, when the Klamath on fire broke out and headed straight for their home. You could tell it was going to be a bad deal, and, and sure enough, it, it took out everything in its path. While neighbors evacuated, the couple stayed behind, realizing they wouldn't be able to move their cattle. They don't call it bravery, but responsibility. They say a shift in winds made the fire turn on a dime, just missing their home. But an ember was all it took to put their barn and all their hay up in flames. It was built in the 1850s, had a big floor in it. It was absolutely fantastic. Before today, this winter was looking bleak, but Jana Tony isn't standing for it. She's organizing a hay drive for October 6. Any amount of help that they can get is a big help. She was bringing the town fresh water when she saw the giant need. They had so much of their fields uh, destroyed, their hay storage destroyed, their fence lines destroyed. She's ready to help and hopes others are too. If you can, bring hay and fence posts to the R Ranch headquarters October 6 from 7 to 5. It'll go right to people like the bears. After the fire has been put out and the firemen have gone, um, that doesn't mean that the need is gone. In Hornbrook, Emma Balkenbush, Newswatch 12.